All right, I'm making country style steak. And like usual, I have the wrong cut of meat. I think this is bottom round, and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to use top top round uh, steak for country style steak. Uh, but I pat it really, really dry because I want to do this uh, vertical cut, which can be kind of scary. I go slowly, and right before this, I strap my knife. Uh, just so I would have to use as little force as possible. And I really watch my thumbs. And this is, uh, I think country style steak tastes better if you use more, uh, if you make a big batch. Uh, this is probably only half as much as uh, most people would make. But it still ended up pretty pretty good. And with a piece this uh, this thick, I went for three pieces. And there was one area where it was slightly thicker than the rest, but it ended up pretty uh, pretty good. And after slicing up my steak, I covered it in flour. And you're used, to, you're supposed to pound out these with something sharp or something very heavy. But I just end up just covering it in flour. I don't mind if it's not super super thin. And then I take uh, this cast iron Dutch oven and I put a good amount of oil on the bottom. And heat it up. And I just got this Dutch oven, and this is my first uh, dish to test it out. And all that, all that is left to do is just fry the steak on each side until it's brown. And you don't really need to think about cooking the inside because it's going in a 300 degree Fahrenheit oven for a little over two hours. And as long as it's this brownish reddish color on each, on both sides, it should be pretty good. And after all the pieces are done, I put everything back in the pot. And I add water, and this is supposed to be chicken stock, but I always have a little bit of bouillon. And my go-to is usually nor, but here I'm trying out better than bouillon, which is I think has gained a lot of popularity recently. I don't know if I like it more than nor, but it was still pretty good. And then I I added some thyme and a lot lots of black pepper. And then I use the spoon to rub the meat on, on the bottom of the pot to remove any fond. Then I just cover up the pot and I put it in the oven. And one problem I always have with country style steak is I don't know what to serve it with. Uh, I think some people use uh, make potato dishes. I decided to go for uh, asparagus dish and also I have some ingredients to make tapenade and so I thought maybe I would make a little side dish of of um, tapenade and pita crackers uh, unfortunately later on I realized I made way too much food and I ended up not eating uh, the tapenade however I uh, during the recording I have it right here and so I made it onto the video. The top of that I make is just with Kalamata black olives. It's always more uh, fun if you have different types of olives in this. 
and you sh can use a food processor, it's much faster. But I just chop. Then I add uh, some anchovy fillets, and these are the same ones left over from the anchovy toast. I think I add two fillets. And I go ahead and just chop that up uh, with my hand, or like I smush it up. And I mix it in with olives. And last, a few ingredients, some lemon juice. A little bit of uh, chopped capers. Uh, a little bit of basil. And to balance out the acidity of the ingredients, a good amount of extra virgin olive oil. And then I stir it up and give it a taste. And I don't know if people add pepper to tapena, but I add some. And then I stored it later uh, so I could eat, although I ended up not eating it. For my vegetable uh, side dish, I have some frozen asparagus, which I toss with a little bit of vegetable oil. And then I take out my uh, country style steak and I boost the heat to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And before I put in the asparagus, and while the oven's heating up, I give my steak a little taste. And it definitely needs a little bit of salt, but uh, the texture is really nice. And before I take out the asparagus, I cut up the lemon zest a little bit fine. And I definitely overtook the asparagus in the oven. Um, I should have only cooked it for maybe five-ish minutes, maybe six minutes. And here I'm contemplating how much of a steak do I eat at once, and I try to rationalize uh, eating one is too small, uh, one and a half is kind of an awkward uh, amount, and I don't know if I could comfortably eat one and a half tomorrow. So I decided just to eat all of it, like I usually do. And oh, one note. If you would like this dish to be less greasy, you can drain the vegetable oil before you add the water. I, I don't mind uh, the sauce being kind of greasy. Hence, uh, right after I put all of the meat on the plate, I take the sauce, the greasy sauce, and I put it all over. Gordon Ramsay would be screaming at me if you saw this dish.
And then uh, once the asparagus is done, in this case overcooked, I uh, season it with a little bit of salt and some nutmeg. And that's an odd combination, but it's actually really delicious. And lastly, the lemon zest that I chopped up earlier. And I just give that a little stir and I put it on the plate. And it's been a really long time since I've had country style steak. I think it has been over... No, maybe close to three years since I've, I've made it at home. And this was probably the best one I've made so far. And I really like using that Dutch oven pot. Uh, once that company um, has the ceramic one in stock, I'm probably going to buy it for my older sister. And the sauce was a really nice uh, consistency. Even with uh, two cups of water, there was enough flour on the steak to sort of form this, this nice uh, creamy sauce. And the steak is soft enough to just cut with a fork. And the asparagus was uh, very sweet. Um, I'm not sure why. It could just be that this frozen asparagus was only from season, but it's very good. Overcooked, but still delicious. And lately these days, I think I've been feeling ex exceptionally happy feel like I've once again reached some amount of emotional growth uh, very similar to when I was maybe 17 to 18 years old and just like back then I am presented with a way to gamble away all my happiness and I think this time I'm just going to write it out and see uh, what happens if I if I try to make this uh, last as long as possible. Anyways, uh, thank you for listening to me ramble and have a nice rest of your day.